No, all religions are, are, are not the same. But they embrace enough common ground, I think, that um, we can find a, a unity in them and cause to uh, respect religious, tra religious traditions or spiritual traditions other than our own and, um, and practitioners in other traditions other than our own and that on the basis of the, uh, the, the results, if you want to judge a thing by its fruits, if the members, the practitioners are attaining that which is with which in one sense all religious traditions say is worth attaining, hmm, then we would be compelled to honor them and appreciate them. Um, overall, I would say that there are two broader, broad groups of religion. Religion or spiritual disciplines that are ego-effacing and religious traditions that are not. In this it might be useful to, to, to distinguish between experiential spirituality and an orientation towards that and a religious orientation. Hmm? A religious orientation should, in time, foster spiritual experience. But if it, it doesn't, then it's, it's stuck and it doesn't become a viable a religious uh, tradition or orientation to a religious tradition. Uh, it becomes a religion for things, hmm? for acquiring, uh, for acquisition, for ma improving material prospect and so forth, rather than uh, for seeing through the, 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 the falsity of the, uh, the carrot, if you will, of, of the material a prospect that just by adding a few more things to my life, my life will be complete. So that kind of religion uh, is is counterproductive in a sense, and that's kind of religion that gives religion a bad name. And it could be a good tradition, a genuine spiritual tradition, but not properly understood. Um, so that kind of religion is is something we're not interested in, but but then the other category, the ego-effacing traditions, the traditions that foster real uh, spiritual experience, they um, have value and they uh, have a lot of common ground. Within them, at the same time, there are some differences also. There are traditions of knowledge, where knowledge is the goal, and freedom from, the, from suffering, like... Uh, the Buddha's teaching, or Advaita Vedanta, for example, um, they're largely about ending the problem of suffering that is fostered by desire and attachment to things, entering the, end, ending the ignorance, the avidya that is attachment to things, and the identity that's formed by identification with things, thinking something is mine, uh, produces a certain kind of sense of I and so forth. And then there are traditions that are, uh, I would call devotional traditions or traditions that have as their ideal love rather than knowledge. And those traditions include within them the knowledge of the uh, nature of material attachment and so forth, and they dismantle readily that uh, conventional sense of self, that material ego, um, but they posit, uh, I think, greater prospect for us in the realm of consciousness. They include the knowledge within them, and then they offer something more. It's something like the difference between moving from negative numbers of karmic implication and the suffering that uh, results therein to a zero, which has a positive value in comparison to negative numbers, 
And this would be your paths of, of, of knowledge that free us from samsara, if you will. And then there are our, our, our positive numbers from zero to 108, let's say. And uh, these are the primary pursuit of the uh, devotional uh, spiritual disciplines. Um, they would be, as I say, uh, spiritual disciplines of where, where, where love is the, is, the, is the ideal and knowledge is a, uh, is a byproduct of that. So there are different religions and, um, and they have some common ground uh, and um, their differences, the differences among uh, those that are ego-effacing and actually can, do have the capacity to bring us to a, a, a transcendent an ego-effacing uh, reality to stand us on the ground of being, the differences between them are more differences for uh, discussion and debate. They don't bring us to the kind of differences that um, religion that is in pursuit of things does, that gives rise to war and, and so forth, and then the argument that religion has produced more suffering and more wars. Than, uh, than, 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 uh, than, than the non-religious sector of society um, uh, comes to the, to, the, to, to the surface and so forth. So, uh, no, all religions aren't the same, uh, but uh, um, their differences should be properly understood.